And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. Lee, this ought to be special. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. Danger averted for now. Veering in field here. De Bruyne. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Ben Yedder. And they'll have to throw it back in play. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central strike will stay. Can they take the lead? There it is! And just the ideal start! Well, here's the replay. He didn't panic, did he? Decent strike, good technique, bread and butter strike, really. But it's in the back of the net. goal of the game then nine goal and son good technique displayed patient enough build up can they carve out a chance tremendous interception it was by Gundogan And now Kevin De Bruyne. An abundance of space. He has plenty of support. De Bruyne. Messi. Tremendous ball played through. And delivered towards the back post. Well, he did his best to remain onside, but just failed. Yeah, it was close. It was close, but that's all it needs to be, close. He was offside. Here's Insigne, it's with Gundogan. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. And the attacking options appear plentiful. And the cross into the middle. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Couldn't keep it. Vidal. Couldn't keep it, Vidal. Fernandinho, De Bruyne now, Messi, now Gundogan, can they get in behind them, he's managed to lose his mark, Gundogan threading it through, Ben Yedder, and he cuts inside, just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did, well, he's given a corner, their referee, Fired over by Messi. Well, punch happy, the keeper. Lionel Messi in the middle. It's with David Silva. Possession changes hands. The interception there. I think, Lee, we all look forward, don't we, to the various stages of the Champions League, from the group stage to the knockout stages. Each has its own dynamic. Well, it does. I certainly get a little bit more excited when the knockout stages start, I must admit. But the, uh, the group stage is an introduction to every... And it's a quality pass. And very deftly cut out. Messi Fernandinho and here's Kappa Gundogan and now Kevin De Bruyne in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here 
Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Well, he couldn't quite keep the header down. Well, it was the pace on the cross. Sometimes with that much power on the cross, just cushion it, otherwise it goes over. Piquet. This is Vidal. Trailing as they are. What will be the thinking in the camp as you see it, Lee? Well, Dortmund are definitely still in this game. Such fine margins between success and failure at this level. They need to stick to the game plan, maybe put a bit more pressure on the opposition in the second half, get the ball in the box a bit quicker and try and turn it around. And David Silva tasked with taking it. And well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Rancho Nainggolan. Vidal. Kane. Oh, completely missed. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Get it! And the free kick delivery, so very close. Well, he'll think it's in. From that angle, it's just wide. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Janic now. But it's a fine-looking Dortmund attack. But the question is, what can they do from this position? He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. That move looked as though it had... And there it is, the half-time whistle. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Pjanic, Raja Nainggolan, Andrew Robertson, Nainggolan. Now they've lost it. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Gundogan. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. And so much to like about the first half performance put in by Kevin De Bruyne. Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well, and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. Crossing opportunity. Dinia. Targets available, Cross comes in and clears his lines. Pjanic. Vidal. It's with David Silva. Raja Nainggolan. Son. Pjanic. David Silva. And given away by Jotmund. And now Kevin De Bruyne. And that puts him in position. Insigne. Lionel Messi in the middle. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. It's with David Silva. Janic now. Janic making progress Kane Harry Kane losing out in that little battle Skriniar here's Insigne can they hit on the break it's with Gundogan Fernandinho just knocking it around looking to carve out a chance that's a lovely ball now he must favour the cross well it's come down to the final 20 minutes here 
Dortmund throw in here. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Vidal. Vidal. Trippier. Moving forward effectively. And options in the centre. And cleared away. Here's Insigne. Unrelenting pressure, but what next? Kane. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Rancho Nainggolan. Now here's Arturo Vidal. Piquet. Andrew Robertson. Dortmund unable to keep it. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And teammates to play it to. Will he find the net? Pivotal moment defensively. Vidal passing, but incisive pass from Fernandinho. And the danger clear. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Paulinho, De Bruyne, opportunity to deliver the cross. De Bruyne, good looking cross, but nicely done by Pjanic. Now here's Arturo Vidal, inside the final five minutes now. Well, in the second half, trailing, albeit by a small margin. How should they be viewing this task, Lee? Well, Dortmund, for me, not been their best night of football, but they're still in this game. That's the most important thing. We used to say on the pitch, you'll get one more chance before the end if you're losing. Will they get one? Well, they weren't so hard here to be in front, and that's been recognised by the supporters. They just need to hold on a bit longer to see this out. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Possession ceded by Dortmund. De Bruyne. Paulinho. Defensive efficiency. And that's it for tonight. Full time and an encouraging start for them. Three points from their initial fixture lead. Well, it's everything you want from the start of match one. Good, strong start. That result will give everybody... A big night at a great venue, the Parc des Princes, here in the French capital, Paris. I'm Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, I hope you are as excited as me, the start of the Champions League always a special atmosphere both teams will be hoping for a long journey or it may be very very short we're about to find out Ndidi crossing opportunity not getting anxious when they have the ball lack of guile with regard to that cross goalkeeper's ball 
And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Diego Godin plays with Giorgio Chiellini in central defence. Ivan Rakitic plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the centre of midfield. And so to the forwards, Luis Suarez starts with Jamie Vardy up front. Bernardo Silva. Nelson Semedo has it. Thiago. Will he play it in? De Jong. Marcelo. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Thomas Müller starts with Ivan Perisic in the wide positions. And in attack, it's the very pacey Timo Werner. Vardy. And Sterling has it. Making progress. Clean challenge. Good thing from his point of view. Ndidi. Well, Derek, they're not happy. Ref is taking the brunt of this. Now Ndidi. Rakitic. Sané. Others to play it to. Top-notch tackle. De Jong, Werner. In possession, Marcelo. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. It's with Bernardo Silva. It needs an accurate cross. And after the cross, defensive action called for. I think, Lee, we all look forward, don't we, to the various stages of the Champions League, from the group stage to the knockout stages. Each has its own dynamic. Well, it does. I certainly get a little bit more excited when the knockout stages start, I must admit. But the, uh, the group stage is an introduction. And attempting the through ball. Sterling. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Ivan Perisic, Müller, Perisic, Werner, De Jong, Nelson Semedo, he continues his run, and Rakitic prevails, Zane, space afforded PSG, Sterling, And now Vardy, he's likely asking himself, why did I shoot from so far out? Well, he's not the only one, I'm asking him and all his teammates are too. It's with Bernardo Silva. Thiago. Bernardo Silva. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Crossing opportunity. Bernardo Silva. Nelson Tomato has it. He has been deemed to be offside, not by Muchley. Brilliant, brilliant officiating that is. Look at that, spot on. Werner. De Jong. Perisic. In possession, Marcelo. What's he going to do here? Muda. And a goal kick given. Well, it's deadlock. Could be a mistake. Could be a moment of magic. Surely someone will take this game by the scruff of the neck. Rakitic. Suarez. Sterling has it. Ivan Rakitic. And Suarez outfoxed by the defender in that case. Perisic. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. And options in the centre. An important interception.
Vardy. That's the kind of shielding play. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Bernardo Silva. Here is Thiago. Nelson Semedo has it. It's with Bernardo Silva. Thiago. Frankie de Jong. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. And the keeper taking care of the situation. Couldn't hang on to it. Sterling has it. Ivan Rakitic. Vardy. Rakitic. Far from a good pass. Werner. This is Müller. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Thomas Müller. De Jong. He cuts it back. Terrific block there. Bernardo Silva. Thiago. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, it's the hardest thing to do in football, score a goal. But when it's served up on a plate like this, it looks easy. Fabulous through ball. So the game has restarted and it's Barcelona in front. Chiellini. Ivan Rakitic. Walker. Now Ndidi. Sterling has it. Sané. He's in control of the ball as he runs. Sané. Sané. And dispossessed. Being pressed hard. Throw in here for PSG. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Rakitic on the ball. Will he play it in? Sterling. Here's Rakitic. Kolarov. Sané. Rakitic on the ball. Sané. Across from Sané. This corner kick might help them. Substitution it is for PSG. Corner kick played in, and the goalkeeper up to the task. Well, yeah, it's a decent save, but if he lets that in, you'd be asking questions. They favoured a short one here. It's one corner after another. It's a short one. Not really the ideal clearance. James, Sterling has it, and that is offside. In possession, Marcelo. De Jong. De Jong. It's with Bernardo Silva. Werner. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? And now Perisic. What's he going to do here? Muda. The goalkeeper, relatively untroubled. Yeah, he's not, he's not going to let that one in, Derek. 
15 minutes remaining. It is to be a throw in. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. De Ligt, Rooney. Nelson Semedo has it. A sloppy pass. Space afforded PSG. Not long to go now. PSG desperate for a goal. Good technique displayed. It needs an accurate cross. Wonderful chance. That is how to keep it out of the net. Keno Navas. And over comes the corner. And a corner there that really lacked guile. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Options in the centre. Werner. And turned out of play, so it will be a throw in. Bernardo Silva. Gay. Perisic. And Bernardo Silva has it. Werner. You always say that you get one more chance. These PSG fans certainly believe so. Incredible noise in here right now. Barcelona moving the ball swiftly and finding themselves in a promising position. Useful ball towards the back post this time. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. And just the one minute left in normal time here. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. The ball with James Rodriguez. Now Parejo. PSG simply must be opportunistic with time not on their side. Suarez. Suarez saw his... Well, that's all for this game. And Barcelona off to a flying start. Three points from their initial match in the Champions League. But... And welcome on a big night for football here in Leicester. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Leicester City up against Bayern Munich. Well, Derek, I hope you are as excited as me to start the Champions League. Always a special atmosphere. Both teams will be hoping for a long journey. Or it may be very, very short. We're about to find out. Here's Mares. And here's Alan. Back from the byline. Wonderful block. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Samir Handanovic begins in goal. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Samuel Umtiti in the middle of the defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Moving forward effectively. Here's the initial 11 for Bayern. Alexandro plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. And the main striker is the unmistakable. Well, it might still work out for them. And here's Alan. It's with Danilo Pereira. Ricardo Pereira. Mares. It's with Alan. 
giving them the gift of possession. Cajon. Robbed them. Mares. And the pie on the ball. Now with Danilo Pereira. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Options in the centre. No nonsense clearance. Alan. An authoritative challenge. Douglas Costa. Alexandro now. Kimmich with it. Neymar. Strong play here. And here's Joshua Kimi. Will he play it in? Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Ricardo Pereira. Di Maria. Now, let's see what they can do here. This is Varane. Here is Joshua Kimmich. This is Neymar. Costa with it. Alexandro now. Kimmich. Neymar. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Neymar! Very attractive looking move. Easy on the eye, but nothing there. Valley. And here's Alan. The boy. Teles. Danilo Pereira. It's with Alex Teles. Now with Danilo Pereira. It's with Alan. Di Maria. And the boy on the ball. Alex Teles. And you need your defender to take charge. And here's Alan. Danilo Pereira. It's with Danilo Pereira. Mares going well. Textbook defending inside the box. Jorginho. It's with Joao Cancelo. Callejon. Jorginho. Kimmich with it. Get high marks for that move, but they couldn't make it count. Salah, Alan, and TC. It's with Alan. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. This could be an interesting avenue. Looked as though they meant business, but now they've got to try again. I think, Lee, we all look forward, don't we, to the various stages of the Champions League, from the group stage to the knockout stages. Each has its own dynamic. Well, it does. I certainly get a little bit more excited when the knockout stages start, I must admit. Useful-looking ball. Ronaldo! And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now, all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, you will concede less goals if you stop the crosses. On this occasion, they don't, and they pay the ultimate penalty. The ball's in the back of the net. Stop the cross. So, back underway. Bayern leading here. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, a more than satisfactory performance from Ronaldo in the first half league. Well, he'll get an extra sugar in his tea from the coach at half-time after that. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Callejon. Failed to keep hold of it. 
Well, possession is not a problem for Leicester, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. In the sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. Kimmich. Neymar. Jorginho. Bayern have given it away. And forward this time goes Neymar with options aplenty. And the danger cleared. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Callejon just drifted into the illegal position offside in the opinion of the officials well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game tremendous intuition to win it back Alexandro And here's Alan. Now Mo Salah. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. And the cross is very much on. And here's Alan. Oh, a tremendous vision. Douglas Costa. This is Neymar. Costa with it. Kimmich. And Neymar. Individual quality coming to the fore. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Alan. Kimmich with it. Well, that's very smart defending and now they have the ball again and the referee doesn't hesitate that is a spot kick well that could be his final rebuke I think and the referee's making that absolutely clear well I like that Derek good referee nice and strong told the player exactly what he was thinking and that is when you need your goalkeeper corner for Bayern then He's fired over the corner. Jorginho. It looked as though he might have been onside, but he was just a fraction off. Oh, I'm not so sure. I'd like to see that again. Acres of space afforded Bayern. Well, listen to the atmosphere in here. The fans are doing their bit, trying to spur them on for the equaliser. He continues to make hay. They've regained possession. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. It's a substitution for Bayer. Goretzka. Alex Tellez has it, and that was a very fine read inside the last quarter of an hour. This is Neymar. It's with Joao Cancelo. He has time to play it over. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Neymar. And now Cancelo. Great block. Alex Tellez has it. Samuel Intiti. Now Mosala. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. 
The players are using this energy from the crowd to drive them forward time after time to get back into this. It's with Alan. A oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Leon Goretzka. Salah. Getting forward. Goretzka. Mares. The pie. how to do it inside your own penalty area and Bayern will change personnel now a corner kick and who knows this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser well the clearance half-hearted one minute remaining minimum of two minutes of Aritana it's with Koulibaly Leon Goretzka and full time it is, the perfect start for Bayern. They pick up all three points in this, their first match of the champion. Floodlights are shining down on the players here at Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Manchester United facing Manchester City. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. Running with the ball confidently. He knows he's got to react. This is the team Manchester United will go with. And Goro Conte starts with Jean-Philippe Gabama in the centre of midfield. And leading the line is the always pacey Chiro Immobile. Chiro Immobile. 
Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, the more you give this lad the ball, the better the team normally plays. He switches the ball, he links play from left to right, up and down the pitch. He keeps possession, a brilliant player. Matic. Now they're on the scent of something positive. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Christian Eriksen now. Eriksen. Matic on the ball. Moving the ball effectively. Eriksen. An easy meet for the keeper given that cross. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Emerick Laporte starts with Sergio Ramos at the back. And up front leading the line is Antoine Griezmann. Jean-Philippe Gabama. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Gabama. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. A decisive clearance it was. Real danger. And Ramos gets in the way. Mertens! It's a goal for Manchester United. Well, they inflict a lot of pressure on the opposition, and that time the opposition couldn't cope with it. Well, here is the replay, and to be fair, the keeper from that distance hasn't got much chance of keeping it out. Lovely goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Underway once more, Manchester United have hit the front. Modric the ball with Luka Modric Matic on the ball Modric this is Gareth Bale Bale well really in this great competition there's been continuity since season 2003-2004 the same format remember there used to be a second group stage once upon a time Lee well they did and the through ball from Modric Anthony Martial waiting to pass Still possibilities. Hernandez. Eriksen. Anthony Martial waiting to pounce. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Alderweire. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Vizca. It looked as though he might have been onside, but he was just a fraction off. Oh, I'm not so sure. I'd like to see that again. Jordi Alba. Conte. It's with Lucas Klosterman. Alderweire. Given away by Manchester United. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Hernandez. Eriksen. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Alderweire. Conte. Mertens. Immobile now. Pogba. Cleverly thought out run by Paul Pogba. And teammates to play it to. Now Paul Pogba. Patient build-up at the moment. And a strong tackle. Manchester United throw in here. Now Jordi Alba. It's the high pressure, high intensity approach. Mertens. Vizca. 
Vizca. Immobile. Crossing possibilities. Just wanted to get it out of there. The fourth official has indicated... And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Slip short passing. do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far and so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences Modric Grimaldo with it the ball with Luka Modric now Griezmann Eriksson Anthony Martial Hernandez Eriksson's pass needed to be a little bit better now counter attacking possibilities here Will he play it in? A deft clearance. This is Sergio Ramos. Vizca. He got in the way of that cross. Next to go short, and a goal kick is the outcome. This is Sergio Ramos. Grimaldo. This is Gareth Bale. Modric. Bale. The ball with Luka Modric. Bale, Grimaldo with it, Matic on the ball. Setti know that wide area is really opening up. And Scott for the cross. Taking care of business defensively here. A change on the offing for City. Number 13, Quincy Cunez. And now the delivery. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Well, Derek, there's the life of a manager right there. Pure frustration. It's such a thankless job at times. Corner kick taken by... Cr well, the header, but a comfortable save for the goalkeeper. Yeah, he has to do better than that. I could have saved that, Derek. Pogba. Now Jordi Alba. Mertens. Potentially freedom for United on the flank. Conte. Pogba. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. It is to be a throw in. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Mertens crossing into the middle and a goal here for Manchester United they are the big favourites now well Derek sometimes it's the cross that makes the goal and this is it just look at that perfect cross on his head back of the net A change in the offing for City. Well, a second goal for them here. Griezmann. By no means on his own here. 
Now Griezmann. Eriksen in the middle. Well, he got the touch on the ball. And so a corner it'll be. And they've gone for the short corner. A poor cross, all things considered. He continues his run. And this would reduce the deficit. And quick thinking to react to the situation and concede the throw. It's with Laporte. Promise. Possession ceded by City here. Now he must favour the cross. Eriksen. Griezmann. On to Matic. Hernandez. A fine block. He must tread carefully here. Nowhere to go, really. He's being closed down. And that's an important intervention. Tremendous ball played through. And he has just veered into an offside position this time. Here's a change for Manchester United. Odrio Zola. Berge. All the way round. On the ball, Odrio Zola. Well, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. Well, the pass not finding its target. And the cross is very much on. Passing it with a bit of panache. Throw in to Manchester United. Pogba Mertens failed to keep hold of it Berger with it Immobile now and given that we're in the second half and it has got a bit ugly from the scoreline point of view what positives can you find Lee? well the City players look frustrated now they've been poor tonight they've let their standards drop inexcusable really Back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. No way back from here for me. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. It's with Edin Vizca. Good technique displayed. That move looked as though it had genuine potential, but it's broken down. In possession, Adama. Van der Beek full time and Manchester United claim all three points in their opening fixture in the Champions And we find ourselves at one of the most iconic venues in world football, the Santiago Bernabeu here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always by Lee Dixon. 
and we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Real Madrid taking on Chelsea. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. Tauti defending to win the ball back. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. The highly rated Brazilian Alisson begins between the posts. Cavajal plays with Jérôme Roussillon in the fullback positions. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. He's passed it forwards to Aidan Azar. And the ball with Milinkovic Savic. It's with Hakim Ziyech. The cross is on. Read it magnificently and intercepted. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. The highly rated Manuel Neuer between the posts. Marquinhos plays with Jan Vertonghen at the back. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Here's Mbappe. Hakimi. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Will he play it in? Well, not a cross that will live long in the memory. Goal kick. Bruno Fernandes. Carvajal. Bruno Fernandes has it. Verassi now. Verassi. Aguero. Roussillon has it. Aguero. Verassi. Fluency of movement. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Roussillon. Aguero. They've regained possession. Here's Marquinhos. It's the high pressure, high intensity approach. Jérôme Roussillon now uh, with Aubameyang. When you talk about Chelsea, you talk about a team many people fancy to win the Champions League a decade or so ago. It didn't happen, and then against all the odds in 2012, it did finally happen. Yeah, absolutely. You have to say they deserved it. They can get plugging away each year, but not so long ago before that as well, they were in the wilderness, Chelsea, and obviously Mr Abramovich's money has put them onto the Champions League platform now. Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Strong play here. Hakimi maneuvering his way forward. Royce. Whatever it takes to keep them out. And scope for the cross. Just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. Milinkovic Savic. Aidan Azar. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Sancho now. Jaden Sancho. Grealish. Jérôme Roussillon. Verassi now. Jack Grealish. Might really be able to trouble them here. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Carvajal. Bruno Fernandes has it. Verratti. Crossing opportunity. Aubameyang. Won it back. Marco Reus. And the ball with Milinkovic Savic. It's with Hakim Ziyech. Chelsea happy to pass the ball around and get it forward. Well, they have the ball in a very promising position, but now it's been taken away from them. 
the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order here's Carvajal Grealish Carvajal excellent vision Sancho and that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that Jérôme Roussillon and that is that half time here in the Spanish capital And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Hakimi. Ziyech. And dispossessed. Now Casemiro. Carvajal, Verratti, Grealish, Casemiro, Jack Grealish, Carvajal, Verratti, Bruno Fernandes has it, Milinkovic Savic, the ball with Marco Reus. Here's Milinkovic Savic. Chelsea getting the ball forward. What can they do from this position? Mbappe tries his luck. Can they get themselves in front here? See, yes. And a goal it is. The opener in this game. Well, keep it tight. That's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. So underway once again, Chelsea with the lead in this match. Well, Real Madrid possession stats are brilliant, but they have to create more, they have to be more positive. The final third play has been slow, too predictable. Keeper did his job to begin with. Given away by Chelsea. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Roussillon. Aubameyang. And played in. And a no-nonsense clearance. Sancho. Well cleared away. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. And over comes the corner. Obama Yang. Can they slot it home? Real Madrid get the throw in. Now Casemiro. Verratti. Jérôme Roussillon. Casemiro. Verratti now. Roussillon has it. Real Madrid moving the ball with purpose. What can they do from this position? Ziyech. Mbappe. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Royce. By no means on his own here. Now with Hakimi. And they keep the ball. Advantage Chelsea. Free kick to Chelsea. 
substitution time it is. Delivered into the box, foiling them effectively. And the cross is very much on. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? This is Thiago Silva. Verratti now. Oh, nice ball. It's neat passing. Confidence on the ball. No worries for the keeper. Only ten minutes remaining here. Azar. And now here's Aiden Azar. Aiden Azar with a lovely ball. And the defender takes care of business. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Well, these Real Madrid fans are demanding their team attack here. It's fair to say they haven't been at their best today, but you'd like to think they get another chance or two. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. The ball with Marco Royce. Mbappe. It's with Roberto Firmino. Aiden Azar. He has plenty of support. Wonderful tackle. Not long to go now. Real Madrid fans desperate to see their team back in it. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Cabajal. Bruno Fernandes. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Sergio Aguero has it. Alert defending. Here is Fred. And there goes the full-time whistle. Chelsea claim all three points in their opening match in the UEFA Champions League. Yeah, really, really strong start. That's what you need. But with five games to go... For... Stretch it, stretch it, make sure the money do. Stretch it, stretch it, make sure the money do. Stretch it, stretch it, make sure the money do. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. yo. Yeah. My bro just came from Dubai, now he wants four. Man, I told him that's madness. Money with the world, do backflips, make sure you keep it all together, elastic. Stretch it, stretch it, make sure the money do backflips. This one must have came from. If I say, then it's gonna be a lot thing. What do you mean, man? I sound like this guy, which guy? I don't even know what he. Let me sip my tea, can't take me for a month. Man, I've done it sometime, bad time, let it clock. Madness, never ended up in McDonald's. And I haven't had a trophy in long term. What's the sport that I play for the gunners? Just came back from a madness. See my guys, yeah, we don't do hat tricks. My guy put four. And hello from the beautiful American South. We're in the setting of Atlanta, Georgia at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined as always by Lee Dixon. And every reason to believe this is going to be enthralling. It's Atlanta United against Atletico Madrid. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a belter here with these two. Well, here's the Atlanta United starting 11. The goalkeeper is the precocious Gianluigi Donnarumma. Harry Maguire plays alongside Victor Lindelof in central defence. Jorginho Wijnaldum starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the front pair, Sadio Mane, plays with Mauro Icardi up front. And this is the starting lineup for Atletico. Serge Gnabry plays with Kingsley Coman on the flanks. As for the attackers, Robert Lewandowski starts together with Marcus Rashford. 
Now Busquets. Juan Bisaka. And options. And he might be in here. Coutinho. Jimenez with the block. Tony Kors. But on the way into the game, so many people were asking us about Sadio Mane, a truly top talent. Lee, what kind of display do you expect to see from him? Well, he's got amazing finishing ability. And when a player's got that, it means you have to go that extra yard tighter. And when you do that, you leave space behind you. So it puts the defender in two minds. Wijnaldum. Now the attack promising as it was, scuppered there. It's with Kingsley Coman. Coman. Dangerous looking through ball. Well, just couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he just needs to hold his run a little bit, Derek. He doesn't need to go that early. Now Jimenez. It's with Dybala. Ball with Nicolas Tagliafico. Coman. Marcus Rashford in position. And a goal for Atletico Madrid. Well, they inflict a lot of pressure on the opposition, and that time the opposition couldn't cope with it. Well, just look at this cross, Derek. It's all about the ball in the box. It's a brilliant effort, and it's a great goal to boot. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. The game has been restarted. Atletico are in front. Really a very poor ball. And Atletico get the advantage from the referee. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Koke. Coutinho. Icardi. Moving forward effectively. Patient build-up at the moment. Alexander-Arnold. Gnabry. And that was a very fine read. Sadio Mane now. Maguire. Now Busquets. Wijnaldum. Good use of advantage by the referee. Icardi! And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Coutinho's corner. And the no-nonsense clearance. Atletico, as we can see, not too much of the ball. But to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. Alexander-Arnold, crossing opportunity... Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Lindelof. Juan Bisaka. Lindelof now. Sergio Busquets. Sadio Mane now. Untidy in possession.
Any sort of lead is important. They have the lead. What have you made of it so far? Well, it's all going well for Atletico. Just, it's tight. Control of the ball is key when a game is like this. They have the players to do it for sure, though. But they'll be the happier of the two teams at half-time. He's very adept at protecting the ball. And the emphasis is on creativity. Ball with Nicolas Tagliafico. It's with Kingsley Coman. It's with Dybala. Kroos. Keeping the ball moving. Alexander-Arnold. Excellent vision. Gnabry. There will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Alexander-Arnold has it. Just drifted into the illegal position. Offside, in the opinion of the officials. Tony Kroos. Alexander Arnold has it. This is Kroos. Dybala. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Atletico Madrid have had a chance to reflect on what they did in the first half as they begin the second 45 here. Jimenez Coman Alexander Arnold Dybala Gnabry with it Alexander Arnold has it but he has just veered into an offside position this time Tony Kroos Gnabry with it Alexander Arnold has it Felipe he's been the standout for his side so far don't you think Lee well Derek you're right he has played well and goals win games he's been a joy to watch in this form sit back and enjoy him in the second half Kroos and he's fired it against the post. Juan Bisaka. Sergio Busquets. Sadio Mane now. Shaw. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Mane. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Dybala. Rashford. Half an hour remaining then. Wijnaldum. He's found a pocket of space. Crossing possibilities. Mane! No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, we're going to see that again and let's see the cross again. It's absolutely brilliant. Good power on it. And then watch this headed goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, he's furious, and why not? They've thrown this lead away. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Goal for the host, number 10, Sadio Mane. Tagliafico. Coman. Couldn't keep it. Wijnaldum now. 
And a harmless cross gobbled up. Koke. Wijnaldum now. Coutinho. Oh, a vital interception. Ball with Nicolas Tagliafico. Coman. Tagliafico. Possession changes hands. The interception there. It's going to be an Atletico throw-in. Dybala Tagliafico That's a lovely ball Well, great read there to intercept Well, the home fans are a little bit frustrated today The team hasn't been at their best But surely the quality will count in the end Here's Luke Shaw Making progress Mauro Icardi here. On to Koke. Coutinho. Koke. Moving the ball nicely. Looking for that final pass. Koke! And good work to deny the chance. Well, you just never know about chances near the end. You've got to be opportunistic. Will this corner do it? A punch-happy goalkeeper. Clattered away. Gnabry with it. Alexander Arnold has it. And five minutes to go. Cavani. This is Robert Lewandowski. Cavani. And back with Lewandowski. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Koke. Coutinho. And that's an important intervention. The referee, the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? Application and execution from Jimenez. And there's the referee's whistle. These two sides cannot be separated.